With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. In this question, they are saying a normal woman whose father had hemophilia married a normal man. Now, we have to give the chance of this disease in the progeny of such a marriage. So, hemophilia is a genetic disorder which means that it can be passed on from one generation to the next from the parents to their progeny but under the genetic disorders we are going to place haemophilia under the category of the Mendelian disorders because it is not caused because the lack of an entire chromosome or the presence of an additional chromosome this disease appears because of a particular defective gene and this gene is found on the X chromosome. So this is a sex-linked Mendelian disorder. Now, if we talk about the mechanism of sex determination in human beings, we know we have chromosomal mechanism of sex determination. In the male, we are going to find XY condition. There are two sex chromosomes one X and the other Y, whereas in the female, there are two X chromosomes, XX condition. So, the defective gene which is responsible for this disorder is actually recessive, which means that if the normal gene is present, then it will not be able to express itself. So, a normal woman means that she is unaffected by hemophilia, but just because she is not hemophilic doesn't mean she cannot be a carrier of the defective gene. Because it's a recessive gene, it is possible that she has received it from her parents, but it has not been able to express itself. So that is what is going to happen. If a male is hemophilic, the father is hemophilic in case of this woman, what is his genotype going to be? He has the defective X chromosome and the normal Y chromosome. So this female has received this defective X chromosome from her father and the other X chromosome which she has received from her normal mother is normal. So that is why she is unaffected but she is a carrier. So what is going to happen is if such a woman who is a carrier of hemophilia she marries a normal man then in their progeny we can find out what types of genotype are possible. It is possible that the daughter can be an unaffected carrier. It is also possible that the daughter can be completely unaffected. She does not receive the defective gene from either of her parents. Then there is a possibility of hemophilic son. But 50% possibility is also of the normal son. So out of these possibilities we can see out of the four progeny, two are carrying the defective gene. But since it is a sex-linked disorder, that is why the female which is carrying this defective gene will remain a carrier, but she will herself remain unaffected. The disorder will not show in her phenotype. So out of the four possibilities, only one of the male children is showing hemophilia. Only 25% chance of hemophilic child. So we are going to say option C is our correct answer. Out of the four possible genotypes, Two are carrying the defective gene, but only the male child will be affected. Female will remain an unaffected carrier because it is a sex-linked recessive disorder. So option C is our correct answer. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.